Hello everyone and welcome back to Children's Church Online. My name is Jenny and I'm the children's pastor at Branson Methodist Church. The reason I am home today is because I have to be isolating. So if I sound funny or look funny or start sneezing and coughing, I apologize and I hope you can forgive me. <sighs> okay, also we might have a few visitors today as in my dogs or my cats. So, okay. We should start today with the Lord's Prayer. So, hands together, eyes closed, let's go. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Great. So now that we've said our prayers, we should celebrate our brothers and sisters in Christ. So if you had a birthday this past week or today, I hope you had the best day ever. And we are going to sing happy birthday to you. lesson is all about prayer and some of the ways we pray is through song so we should praise God through our worship song today
now that we've sung and said our praises to Jesus, we should dance for the Lord as well. Also, it helps when we're cold. So let's warm up and dance. today comes from the book of John chapter 17 verses 20 to 26 and basically what is happening in this ver or in this these verses is Jesus is praying over his disciples okay so I don't know about you guys but we all have a sandwich from time to time okay this is a roll normally sandwiches are on two pieces of bread but we know what the top of a roll looks like right and we know what the back of the bottom of the roll looks like. And we know what's inside, right? 
So this reminds me about prayer. Our prayers all start very similar and end very similar. So what, about, what do I mean about that? Good question. So when we pray, like the Lord's Prayer, we start and we say, Our Father, right? Or when we start in a normal prayer, any other prayer, we might say, Dear Lord Jesus, or Dear God, or Father Almighty, something like that, right? And that is our acknowledgement to Jesus. It's at the top of our button. It all sounds the same, looks the same, might even be the same. And then at the end of our prayer, we all say something to end our prayer, right? Do you know what it is? Good. It's Amen. So we always say Amen, right? But now, in our bun, or in our sandwich, it might look a little bit different. See, I've got some things here. I've got some peanut butter. Now, you might be allergic to peanut butter and you can't have peanut butter on your sandwich. Okay, we don't want that. You might like strawberry jam. Maybe you have to have butter or margarine before you put anything on. Or maybe, it's a very small piece of cheese, but I'm isolating guys. Maybe you just like cheese. Or maybe, or maybe you like strawberry jam and cheese. Or strawberry jam and peanut butter and margarine. Or maybe you don't like anything at all but margarine. Right. Okay, so now why am I saying all these things? Because we all pray differently to God. And whatever's in our bun might look different and sound different. But that's the point. That's what makes praying to God so special. Because our sandwich or our prayer is unique to us. Okay. Cool. Now we've got that done. But now, Jeannie, how do I pray? That might be one of your questions. Or, I don't get how strawberry jam or peanut butter can affect anything. I don't understand. It's fine. So, there are some three things that I like to remember when I'm praying. And it spells out a word, so it makes things even easier to remember. So, three things. And it's P or P, E, A or U. La L <laughs> and it spells out pal. Okay. So P stands for praise. So we praise God in everything. So you're telling me I must do like a praise and worship song? Well you could, but no, that's not what I mean. I mean we should give thanks for anything that we have. We can say thank you to God for our pets or for our sandwiches. We can say thank you for having a good day or getting us through a difficult day the next one is a uh, which stands for ask so this is where we can take all our requests or things we need to talk to god about we can take it to god after we have said thank you to god so we say thank you then we go to god with a humble heart and we ask things of god now that might sound a little bit funny because we can't You've heard me say we shouldn't pray like a checklist. So we can't say, Jesus, I want this and this and this and this and this. And don't forget about that with an extra helping of this. You know what I mean? Because that's not really nice, right? When we pray to God, we must think of God as like our best friend. Because God is our best friend. And we don't go to our best friends and ask them about four stuff all the time, right? It's an equal conversation, right? Right. So now I said equal conversation. So the last letter, L or L, stands for listen. So we are ne then need to we then need to listen to God through our prayer. I don't know about you, but I have no idea what God sounds like. And I think if I had to hear a booming voice inside my head or in my ear, I think I would freak out. <laughs> so God won't talk to me like that how God will talk to me might be very different to how God talks to you but one way that God will definitely talk to all of us is through our Bibles we need to read our Bibles often 
And when we pray, we can have our Bibles open with us and ask God to help us understand what the Bible is saying, help us give an answer to what we're asking for. Maybe God can give us encouragement through the Bible. God is endless, so there are endless possibilities. God can also use lots of people. So maybe we've been praying for help in our Afrikaans and the next couple of days our teacher comes to us and says, I know a very good tutor for Afrikaans, would you be interested? Now do you think that that might be God's way of saying, I've heard you, now would you like this help? See, so that's what I think our relationship with God is so special because we might come to God and ask Him for help and God will give us the opportunity to get that help. It doesn't just fall from the sky. Although sometimes I think I, I wish it did. Okay, so let's go over that one more time. So P stands for praise. So we give thanks to God. A stands for ask. So we ask God, we talk to God in this time. And L stands for listen. And we listen to God and we listen to anything that he might have to say to us. And remember that our sandwich prayer might look different to our siblings or to our parents, but that's fine because our relationship with God is different to our parents or siblings and it's special and unique. All right. And that, my friends, brothers and sisters in Christ, is the end of our lesson today. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and I hope you guys do not get sick because it's not fun. I will see you guys very soon when I am healthy and that I don't give you guys anything. Okay, so let's say the benediction together. So we raise out our hands and we say it together. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. I love you guys lots and lots. Bye! It's time to go home. It's time to go.